All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. And boy, do I have another good one for everybody. So if you're new to bamboo printers, if you've been here for a little while or you've been here for a long time, um, I have something for everybody today. And today at the end of this, let's all go ahead and figure out how the network and everything works on the bamboo X1 and for the most part on the P1P. So today I'm going to go over basic network setup and some considerations. I've had a lot of new people reach out to me asking about how to set things up, why things aren't visible, um, you know, why the studio app isn't visible, why things aren't visible on your cell phone. So we'll go over a couple of things um, to consider and how to set up your network and how to connect your printer um, to your network. The second thing that we're going to look at is the local area network or LAN only mode. And some of you may have seen this on the screen and wondered what the warning that uh, shows up whenever you do that and what that means and what that's related to. So today we're gonna go over that as well. And at the end of it, why you might want to stay in LAN only mode. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax. I'll get everything ready. So the first thing that we'll look at is the network setup. And you really need to pay attention here prior to trying to connect your uh, printer to everything else because um, this is where I think a lot of people have been getting hung up and <clears throat> where a simple fix is. In your network settings, like this is just to create a network. I'm not going to show you guys all my network and password and all of that stuff. But here where you enter the name and the password for your network and everything, um, <clears throat> you need to make sure that that network has both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz uh, networks selected. Most likely your laptop or computer is going to connect to this 5 gigahertz network and the bamboo needs to connect to this 2.4. And to make that easy, just make the same SSID or same network name have both of those. So I use Ubiquity networking and stuff. Your stuff may be different, but it is on the same page wherever you create the network name and the password. On that same page, make sure that your network has that 2.4 gigahertz selected. And that is uh, probably the biggest trick to help you guys going. If you're uh, waiting on your bamboo, make sure you go into your network and select this so that when you go through the setup uh, process, it'll be, be able to connect to your network. And then from the, uh, you know, from the screen on the bamboo is where you select this network name and you're going to put in the same password that you had here, but do make sure that you're on the 2.4 uh, gigahertz network. Otherwise, I think it'll cause issues uh, connecting to Orca, to the studio and to the handy app on your phone. Uh, so 2.4 gigahertz network. Okay. And then again, this isn't mine. This is from the internet, but uh, this is what you'll be presented with. And you see here, it says only for 2.4 gig network. So make sure that you uh, select that network that has a 2.4 on there. And that should get you set up with everything there. Um, if you're still having issues with it, check your firewall settings in Windows from there. So let's get on to the uh, second topic today, which is the LAN only mode. All right, so let's talk about LAN only mode. <clears throat> so in the same place under this gear and network where you log into your wireless network for 2.4 uh, G, you will also see a button for LAN only. And this is where you select uh, to do local area network only. And the difference here, this is connecting to your router. Both of them technically are connecting to your router, um, but this one is allowing you to go outside of your network. If you do LAN only, that means that you're staying in your local area network only. So um, just within like your router or whatever kind of network that you have here. So once you uh, flip this little switch here, you'll be presented with an access code and an IP address to log into everything. What is super weird is whenever you flip that switch, you're presented with this uh, warning here. Enabling LAN only mode will disable connectivity with Bamboo Studio and Bamboo Handy. Do you want to continue? And wow, the first time I saw that, I clicked no because I wanted to uh, <clears throat> use 
you know, the studio in handy, I thought that that meant that you could only use the SD card, which then got me thinking, well, why would you need to use a local area network if you're only doing that? So what does this actually do and what does this mean? You know, so again, this means that you're only using your local area network. It will disconnect from studio. You just need to log back in with the information that it had before with the access code. So you'll see your IP address and you'll need to put in that access code into a little spot there. So you'll just basically have to re-log in like I'm showing here. I have lost, uh, by turning that off, uh, have lost all access to Bamboo Handy, which makes sense. Um, because it's sending everything through the cloud there um, to get back to the, you know, cell phone app or your, you know, whatever you're using that app on. I don't use that app that much because I don't print when I'm away from home and I don't recommend that you print when you're away from home. So I don't really ever have the use for that and everything. The one big drawback uh, for LAN only mode is you do you lose access to the camera. So you won't be able to monitor your prints. If you're on a P1P, that may not be a big issue because you may not be able to do that anyway. But on the X1C, you do lose the ability to monitor monitor the prints with the camera. Uh, the big benefit of local area network only is that you're not sending everything through the cloud and you're not exposing your network to another network like Bamboo's network. And not to say that Bamboo can do something nefarious or something bad or anything, um, but if they're hacked, then your network is then exposed to their ha hacked network, and that's not the best security uh, protocol that you can have. Um, so if you absolutely want to use the camera and do all of that stuff, then you're kind of stuck using the you know, WLAN only mode, so no um, you know, local area network only. Um, so you do have to send everything to the cloud. So if you do want to use a camera, you're going to do that. I'm going to see if I can trick it, but it's going to take me a while to figure that out. Um, but if you don't want to use the cloud and you don't want to do all of that, LAN only mode is there. It lets you re-sign back into, um, you know, the app on your computer and um, you're not sending everything through the cloud. The one drawback is you're not able to use the camera as of yet. If anybody knows a trick on how to use the camera while in LAN only mode, uh, let everybody know below. Uh, but that's it. That's all I have for everybody today. I hope this helps. Um, for the most part, I'm probably going to use LAN only. And when I need to use the camera, um, I will, you know, take it out of LAN only mode and re-log in with just the normal wireless and do all of that. So I do want to thank all of my Patreon uh, people. You guys really helping me uh, make this happen. I want to thank all of my subscribers. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see everybody next week. Mm -hmm.